Hey you guys, it's Toya and thank you for watching Toya JTV. Today I want to go over three reasons why your relaxer could be potentially damaging your hair. Now I, first of all, I will say I am pro relaxer. I get relaxers myself and my hair is just fine. But there are some things, relaxers are, they have harsh chemicals in them. So if they are not handled correctly, yes, you can receive damage to your hair. So I'm going to give you three things that could be going on that could cause your relaxer to be damaging your hair. Uh, I'm going to give them to you all at once and then I'll go over each one. Number one, you could be getting them too often. Number two, you could be doing them yourself. Or number three, you could be going to somebody that's giving them to you too soon. All right, so number one, you could be getting them too often. I had one client, she was getting a relaxer every month, every four weeks like clockwork, okay? Your hair grows only one, a half of an inch a month, not even an inch, a half of an inch a month. So if you are relaxing your hair every month, there is no way that you're only relaxing just a half an inch, okay? You are coming past a half an inch. And every time you do that, you're overlapping and you're causing damage to the previously relaxed hair because a uh, relaxer is permanent, okay? So once you relax your hair, you don't have to continue to relax the same hair. You only are supposed to relax new growth or hair that has never been relaxed before. All right, but every if you are always getting a relaxer every month, you are causing damage to that hair follicle, and you're caught. And you know sometimes if you continue doing that, the hair may not grow back. All right, number two, doing them yourself. I like harp on this with my clients all the time. I'm like, please do not do your own relaxers. I mean, if you don't come to me for anything else. Come to me for your relaxers, okay? Because you do not know what you're doing. If you read those directions, it, have you ever read the directions on a box relaxer, okay? They put all that stuff in small writing for a reason because it's in there. Uh, if, if your hair ever falls out, they could say, the directions were in there, you know? It ain't our fault we didn't, they didn't read it. The directions were in there. Yet they're selling it to you, but they know that this could be potentially damaging if you try to do it yourself because you're not a professional. But if you read those directions, it says that you are supposed to get that relaxer in and out of your hair within like 8 to 10 minutes. Okay? Most, most non-professionals cannot even base their scalp in 8 to 10 minutes. So... Is no, and when I say get it in and out, that means you get it all the way in your hair, smooth it through, get it straight twice, and then rinse it out. Now, who can do that in, in eight to ten minutes on your own head? I probably couldn't even do that on my own head in eight to ten minutes. Now, I can do somebody else's, but my own head, no. And then you don't know what you're doing, you can't see in the back, and then you know, you continuously do that, and then you wonder why you know, your hair is coming out, or your hair is damaged, or your hair is not healthy, okay? So, do not do your own relaxers. And number three, you could be going to a professional. You may say, well, I'm going to a professional. But if every time you tell your hairstylist, I need to touch up, and they say, okay, they don't question you at all. They just give it to you every time you need one. You know, it don't matter if it's been six weeks, 16 weeks, 16 years, they're going to give you a relaxer. Then you could still be getting damage to your hair because you still may be getting it too soon. Even though you're going to a relaxer, like I'll tell my customers, if they say, if they say, Latoya, it's time for me to get a touch up. I'm going to say, first of all, I'm going to look at their hair. If I don't see two inches of new growth, I'm not doing it. Okay, because... Most of the time when I relax somebody's hair, I'm going to go down at least an inch and a half to two inches. So if you don't have at least that much new growth, I'm not going to relax your hair because I'm not going to cause damage to your hair that I've already relaxed before. So I'm going to say no. If, they, if they're if they kind of close to two inches but not quite, I'm going to say, okay, let me look at my book and see when was the last time that you got a relaxer. If the proper amount of time has not gone by, no, I'm not going to give you a relaxer, okay? You're going to have to wait until the next time. Or, you know, especially if it's been too... Like, if it was last month, you already know you're not getting a relaxer. No. I, I will say no. But you have some styles that don't say no. They just do whatever you tell them to do. So, in that case, you still can get damage. All right? So, anytime you are getting a relaxer, um, you want to check those three things. 
Don't get them too soon. Don't do them yourself. And don't go to a hairstylist that will give you one every single time you ask for one. All right? And then you can have healthy, relaxed hair. I have clients that have relaxed hair. Their hair is past their bra strap. You know, it's healthy, it's not stringy, it's thick from the root to the tip, all those good things because I know how to take care of their relaxed hair. All right, you guys, so I hope this helps you. Don't be scared to get a relaxer if that's what you want to do. You just have to be, um, you know, willing to do what you need to do to keep it healthy. All right, but you can have healthy, relaxed hair. If you know that you're going to be relaxing your hair every other month or every month, just be natural because that way you don't have to worry about that. All right. So I hope this helps you all in your quest towards healthier hair. I'm all about healthy hair. And that's the whole purpose of this blog is that I want you all to have healthy hair. And the purpose of these videos, I want you all to have healthy hair, whether it's relaxed, natural, whatever. It just, just keep it healthy. All right. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.